For the latest film interviews, reviews and everything making news in pop culture, subscribe to Film Companion now. This video is brought to you by Mubi, a curated streaming service showing exceptional films from around the globe. Get a whole month free at mubi.com slash anupama. Can a zombie movie make you cry? Yes, if it's been directed by Yoon Sang Ho. The South Korean director uses zombies as they have been traditionally used as a tool for social criticism and a metaphor for the human condition, but he also layers in family dynamics, with the definition of family being expanded beyond the traditional. Director Sang Ho isn't afraid of high emotion and sentiment. At the end of his 2016 cult classic Train to Busan, I found myself wiping tears. His latest peninsula also yanks at your heartstrings, though this film doesn't achieve the sublime blend of horror, humor and drama that the earlier one did. Director Sang Ho's most formidable weapon is children. Both films feature young girls in pivotal roles. In Peninsula, it's the teenager Juni and the younger Yoo Jin who combines tough with cute and is the Korean equivalent of Munni in Bajrangi Bhaijan. It's difficult to watch her tear up. Peninsula isn't a direct sequel to Trade to Busan. None of the characters who survived that film return here. This story is set four years after the first film, in which a mysterious virus infected people and turned them into zombies. Peninsula is a post-apocalyptic film. South Korea is now a failed state overrun by zombies and cut off from the rest of the world. Captain Jung Seok and three other people are sent by gangsters behind the quarantine lines to retrieve millions of dollars in cash. When one character glibly declares this is a piece of cake, you know that the mission is going to go horribly wrong. The setup is reminiscent of Escape from New York. Peninsula also features Mad Max style action and some of the set piece car chases seem straight out of Fast and Furious. Train to Busan, which was mostly set on a bullet train overtaken by zombies, had a claustrophobic tension. We took an emotional and literal journey with the characters. Peninsula never hits those high notes, but the film has some inspired sequences. My favorite was Yu Jin using her remote control toy car to distract the zombies. There's also a gladiator style face off with zombies in an arena. These undead creatures, manic, ravenous, unpredictable, are fun to watch. But of course, they aren't the real villains here. That spot is reserved for human beings who, despite the horrors unleashed on the world, continue to be selfish, greedy and brutal. I got fixated on the bad teeth of the bad guys, Sergeant Wong and Captain Seo. In one scene, Seo is drinking Johnny Walker whiskey. I'm thinking if that was available, surely there must be some toothpaste somewhere. But you don't ask these questions in a zombie movie. You're here for the ride, not for the logic. Peninsula relies too much on CGI, so in places the film feels like a video game. But there's enough blunt and banging action here to make it worth your time. Also, could there be a better moment to watch a film about a virus that upends the world? You can see Peninsula in theatres, wear a mask and be safe. Now to tell you a little bit more about Mubi. It's a film streaming service that premieres a new film every day on each channel, showcasing the best of Indian cinema on their Mubi India channel and both classic and contemporary international hits on Mubi World. This week, I'm recommending Ek Haseena Thi by Sriram Raghavan, streaming on Mubi.